Oh, look at that. We have another forge. And I like the green toolbox. Let's pick that up. So we have some variety because variety is the spice of the apocalyptic life. In case you guys didn't know that. No word of lie. Oh, shit. Ah! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is Rebirth. <laughs> All right, uh, so look at this. We got some ammo, baby. So we're going to go out and do some purges uh, today. That's the main goal for this episode. Um, I uh, So I got a few things we want to do around the base here first. So I guess the first thing is, is our uh, armor is really low, and so you use an armor kit to repair armor instead of a normal repair kit. So let's do that because the game keeps telling me I need to, to do that. Um, and then let's see. Our, yeah, the rest of our armor is in, is, is in pretty decent shape at the moment. Uh, as you can see, we are fatigued and we are also hungry. And uh, we are on the verge of being thirsty. So I think we're going to unfortunately have to expend our last vitamin so that we can drink and get rid of the fatigue. And as far as food goes, I've got a lot of potatoes, um, and I got a decent amount of corn too. So I think I'm just going to cook all of that up because that's that's really all I have. But hopefully, you know, when we come back from today's adventures, we'll have some meat with us. Um, so I'm just going to cook all of that stuff up right now. All right. Now, um, speaking of adventures, when I was out mining some nitrate and coal, I had a few things happen. Uh, first of all, I got chased by a horde. And then I found a trader wrecked right here, really close to us up north, because uh, this is the one we've been dealing with way down south there. So that was really nice. And also um, in that process, I cleared this um, car wreck purge. And we found another mini bike wheel, which means we have all of the stuff that that we need to to get that mini bike uh, that we found over here. I'm still undecided about uh, as to whether or not I actually want to do that though, because then we have to start worrying about gasoline. Um, I mean, I suppose we could just go get it and see how much storage space it has, because that that would be almost the main reason why I would do it. Because the nice thing about the bike here in Rebirth is that it doesn't use stamina, so it's damn near almost as good as the mini bike, except for it has less storage. And then finally, um, I did, uh, let's see, where was it? Right here. Um, I found this little potato patch, and there were some zombs there, so we did a purge there. And when I was finished doing that purge, we found an anvil. All right, so yeah, that means we also, because we did find that anvil, uh, that means we want to go get, get that forge. Uh, if you guys remember way uh, back over here, we cleared this 
gas station and there was a forge in there. So we could go pick that up and bring it back here and set it up and then use it because now we have the anvil. Um, so yeah, we've got all, uh, we've got all of that stuff. Easy peasy, all of that stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So the to-do list is go get the forge, go get the mini bike and then start doing purges, uh, with, with the ammo that we have. And then of course I'm going to continue to, uh, to mine and continue to make ammo and gunpowder off camera. Because, you know, now that we have a decent supply of that stuff, we will be able to kick ass and take names. Uh, let's take one of those with us in case we need it. I think we'll leave the rest of that stuff in there. Um, let's grab all of these for now. And we'll throw back the corn and that should... Well, that won't, that won't get us all the way, but with the potatoes it will. And then we're going to also need to drink. I've got 20 jars of murky water. I think I'm going to cook those up into boiled water. Uh, so let's just grab those because we can always, um, you know, get more of that pretty easily. So we just, uh, we'll just wait for the, those remaining potatoes. And then we'll take the, the vitamin, which will fix our fatigue issue and allow us to drink the boiled water. Uh, okay, so while we're waiting on that stuff, let's go down here real quick and uh, Where did I put the anvil? There it is right there. Okay, so we have we have the anvil um, For as far as the mini bike goes, that's a okay. That's the mini bike wheel there and then uh, There's the small engine and I, I thought I had a second mini bike wheel. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. Um, and then I think it needed. I don't remember what else it needed. Does it tell us that? Probably not. No, that that's if we wanted to make like the vanilla mini bike. Okay. So I remember it needed the engine, the two wheels, and maybe a headlight. And, if, uh, and or maybe a battery and we can get uh, we can pull one of those headlights back out of the, the p police car for now uh, let's see the other thing is that I have uh, I can now make a an orange fire axe and an orange wrench so we should probably do that and I got to thinking about something. We have somewhere. Yeah. On the axe, we have this hunter mod. But I got to thinking that, you know, I don't know if I have another one of those. We're getting so many attacks from animals. And now that we're going to be able to start using our gun, it probably would behoove us to... To put the hunter mod in here instead of the I mean the bipod's really nice too, but the hunter mod's gonna give us that extra 25% damage to, to critters. And then what we can do with the axe then is we can put the chopper mod thingy, which I have somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. So we can put that on the on the axe. Uh modify. Uh, no, not that. This. There we go. And so that still gives us the, you know, overall more melee damage here, but it'll also then allow us to cut wood uh, a little bit more effectively as well. And I, I am going to kind of miss the bipod on here, but I think, you know, again, with all the animal attacks that we've been getting, we're further ahead to, to put that on there. So, yeah, I think the headlight's the only other thing we need for the mini bike. And then, of course, we're going to need gasoline for it, too. I may have gasoline in multiple spots, so let's just quickly check. No, it doesn't look like we do. Okay. So we're good to go there. Let's go back up here. Grab the rest of these. Grab those waters. And let's throw back this vitamin uh, right here. 
That should take our fatigue away. Yep. Good. And then um, let's drink these waters. How much water do we get? We get 15. Okay. And so, and so we need about 50. Eh. Let's see. That's going to wear out in three seconds. And then we'll see how much. Because, you know, I don't want to drink too many. I don't think you can over drink. Maybe you can. Okay, so we need another 39. So basically, let's just drink three more. Okay, we'll put the rest of the, <clears throat> excuse me, those boiled waters up there. We'll let those finish, and then the stove will turn off uh, when we're when we're done there. Okay, how are we doing on our ammunition? There we go, 239. Oh, that's nice, actually, because you can only stack these in 150 in, in vanilla. Just another amazing thing that uh, Furious Ramsey has done with this mod. Um, just love it. Uh, by the way, some of the comments that I've been getting from you guys is how to where do you get where do you get the mod? You get it on on uh, Ramsey's Discord on the Rebirth Discord, and I put the link to his Discord in all of the descriptions of all these videos. So just look in the description uh, and go get it from there. Download it, install it. Play it, enjoy it. Um, okay, so anyway, let's see. We should probably also take one of these, at least. So I don't think these potatoes are giving us much for health. They might be giving us one health each. And is there anything else I need to do before we take off? Oh, yeah, we wanted to make an axe, an orange axe, and an orange wrench. Okay, so fire axe. The, uh, oh, you know what? All my wood is in here. Let's take some of that back out. So I, I have to make that in the little toolbox? I thought, oh, okay. I thought the, um, workbench what did everything the the toolbox did but apparently that is not the case okay um let's see what are we doing we're doing iron fire axe we're missing th uh, two duck uh yeah we're missing two duct tape okay so can we make duct tape no not sucked tape duct tape that we're missing glue. After I burned up all of my murky water, can you, can you believe that? For Pete's sake. Okay. Is there a water source? Yeah, there is. Actually, we got a ditch right out behind our place here. And um, so let me go fill these up, and we'll make some glue, because we're probably gonna need that for the. Um, oh shit. Yowzers! <laughs> that makes me nervous, because sometimes I, sometimes I screw that up. Um. Are we going to need glue for the wrench as well? Or, or, yeah, well, for duct tape more specifically. I set the toilet down that I brought from the other house and tried to get water in it, and it said I needed plumbing. So we're going to have to figure out that. But I kind of, I'm kind of glad it did because it was a little cheesy for us to just pick up a toilet Take it 100 feet in the air, set it down, and then expect it to give us <laughs> water. Not not particularly realistic. So, anyway. Can I eat some more of these while I'm climbing up a ladder? Sure, because I don't need both of my arms to climb a ladder. I got two legs and a second arm. Come on. Sometimes we ask too much of ourselves. Okay, so to make glue, we're going to have to do that in here. And uh, let's make seven glue. Oh, is that going to consume the jars? Let's find... Uh, I'll bet you it does. Well, I don't know. We'll see. When we use the glue to make the duct tape... Let's see what happens. Do we need our toolbox for that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, let's see. Nope, it consumed the jar. Okay. That's kind of what I figured it was going to do. Uh, 
that's probably that would probably be something to be complicated to uh you know <coughs> have the mod handle I'm probably not impossible but probably complicated I'm not a a programmer but I am I do work in IT in real life so I kind of have a bit of a clue on some of that stuff uh, enough to be dangerous anyways right okay so now let's go back to here and let's make ourselves an upgraded fire axe beautiful okay and then we will take these mods off of here and then this guy maybe we'll hang on to this just as a backup i think so i'll just throw it i don't know we'll throw it in here And then to make the wrench, we need one more duct tape. Oh, we don't have forged iron. All right. Well, we will once we get once we get the forge going. Okay. So we'll make that duct tape. Let's grab our new axe here. Modify. And we'll put those two things back in there. There we go. All right. Nice. So that is our melee weapon. Um, incidentally, I hit level one on dexterity, which unlocked stationary biker and stumbler. But I noticed that this is still locked here. And I think from reading this that I've got to, I've got to come across a parkour perk book to actually activate it so so the le I'm, I'm just you know i'm still trying to figure all this out because it's different than vanilla so i guess hitting level one makes it available to us but we still have to unlock it with a perk book so if that's not correct let me know in the comments but i but i think that's how that works um also on our class stuff we are well, we're only at 58, 78, but we haven't spent a ton of time killing Zeke's. We've been doing a lot of other stuff, like trying to get a base going and all that. Um, so, you know, this will start to go up, but the machine gun's the even more important one. So we're getting close to unlocking Initiate, and then it shows, you know, up above there how that's going to improve us, our, our skill and so forth. So that's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. All right, I think we're finished here at the base for now. We need to go get that minibike, and we need to go get that forge. So let's do it. Okay, here we go again. And now, oh, that was close. <laughs> that was damn close. Uh, okay. Something has occurred to me. Um, since we're playing the purge, and since we, uh, you know, after we clear a POI, it's checked off. That seems to me like there will not be repops in that, in that POI. Um, so if someone can confirm that in the comments or, or in Ramsey's discord, that'd be good to know. Because if that's the case, then I don't need to worry about putting a land claim block down to stop. Oh, damn. There's a bear right there. Who put that bear there? You guys need to keep better track of your bears. Um, yeah. So I, I mean, well, there's no point putting a land claim block down if, if that's, if that's the case. And it seems to me like that probably would be because, <coughs> you know, the whole point of the purge is to clear the zombies out and, you know, they're not going to like just come back after that. At least that's, seems to me to be is that bear still chasing me he is still chasing me son of a bitch uh okay now the bear's taken off but now i got now i got a wolf chasing me damage him we need some meat though and we've got bullets man we have got bullets oh shit did i see something else there's something else up there i don't know what it is i just saw it moving It is so freaking dark. It 
somewhere, um, I don't know if you guys saw it on the camera because it was kind of off to the side, but I saw what looked like maybe a mountain lion or something um, kind of off over that, that way. That's why I didn't want to stop. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's go over here and get the forge, and then we'll cautiously come back. I guess we do have to go back this way. Oh, maybe it was a deer that I saw. Because it was, you know, it was beige colored like the deer is. Okay, I just, I didn't want to stop and take a chance to figure, figure out what it was because we already had the wolf on our ass too, you know. Okay, so the forge is in here. Well, let's grab it. Beautiful. And then, um, again, I think... Did we try and kill that deer if it's still around? It was down here in the ditch, but obviously it got out. Anyway, I think it's a headlight that we need for that mini bike. The worst I could remember. Well, you know what I guess I could do? I could go look at the footage from that recording. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I don't want to drive all the way out there and not have the stuff for it. So give me a second here. All right, guys, we have a bit of a problem. Um, I... When I tabbed out to go look at that footage, the game closed or crashed. And when I logged back in, I don't have my bicycle. Which is, I think, a known bug with just seven days to die in general. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the creative menu. And we're going to just spawn a new one in. to fix that issue. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that was weird. Okay, so yeah, what I need is a headlight and a battery, a small engine. Oh, uh, wait, where am I at? Yeah, that's right. Headlight, battery, small engine, and the two wheels. So we're just going to take the headlight back out of here for now because we'll find more later. And that should be enough for us to to do it. So let's see. We need to go. Let me look at the map again. Uh, we need to go down here and then, yeah, down this highway. Way the hell over there. All right. I'll just meet you guys over there. Um, I'll keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens, but otherwise I'll see you there. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? That's going to need... It's going to need a hot wire thingy too, isn't it? Which we can buy at the trader. How much money do I have? Hmm. All right. We might not be able to get this immediately, which is fine. I mean, we don't need it right this second, but... It'd be kind of nice to get it. So let's, let's stop by the trader, because remember, the trader's open at night now, which is amazing. And see if we can actually afford that. Now, the other thing I suppose I could do is wrench a couple cars just to get the parts to buy it. And if I do that, I'll do that off camera. So we can buy those from here. Uh, here we go. 300... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, all right. I guess what I want to do then. Wrecked at night. Here if you flash some cash or get lost. Or get lost. Okay, let's sell those. Um. Does he also have the hot wire? No, he doesn't. Okay. Thank you very much, and now you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> what an asshole. Um, all right, so yeah, we, it, it wouldn't take me too long to 
wrench a couple cars. The only problem is my wrench is almost broken. And we needed forged iron for that, didn't we? What we could do instead is we could just go, we could buy five forged iron from Dickweed here and just go back and make a better wrench. And then... My shop, my rules. You follow or you fuck off. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right. Now that we're done doing business. But, you know, once get we get this store. set up, we can make our own iron, right? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to go back to the White Tower, make an orange wrench, and then go out and wrench some cars and stuff, bring it back, sell it to Rekt to make enough money to buy that hot wire kit, and then we'll go out and grab the mini bike. That's a bunch of fucking around for me, but for you guys, it'll only be a few moments. Lucky you. Hey, while we're here, um, let's get our forge set up, too. Uh, we, I guess we have to do that in here as well. There we go. We have everything we need. Look at that. It'll be two minutes. And we have our new wrench. I'm going I'm to still use this one up first, though, before we switch over. Um, but I'm going to wait for this to finish so I, can, so I can actually get it smelting iron. And um, do we have a mod we could put on the wrench? I think I have another flaming shaft. Yeah. Got a flaming shaft mod that we're going to put in the forge. Um, you know what? We could make another one of these. And I think I have... Yeah, I've got more screwdrivers too. That way I don't have to keep, you know, taking it out. And put it in the in the other one. Let's see. Recipes, hammer and pliers. Let's craft that. Okay. And then we'll modify that. Put you on there. That'll give us a little more block damage and also some light. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, good. So let's put those tools in there. And let's keep you in here for now. All right, we got ourselves forge. Um, I'm just going to put it right here for now. I mean, all this stuff we can pick back up again, right? Well, yeah, with the wrench we could. Ooh. If we do that, though, does it make it a broken one again? Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe we do need to put a land coin block down then. Oh, you know what? Damn it. I got the, I got the bellows in the, the forge back at the trader. Uh, I think I do. Did I bring that here? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I, I think I left that at the trader, so I'm gonna have to go back and and get it. But this should mean now that we can smelt iron. Look, uh, wait a second. Where's all my iron? Did I? Oh, I, I can't take me anywhere. I think I left that at the fucking trader too. Damn it, Jim. Uh, well, we got to go back by there anyway. So we'll grab all of our iron and our bellows back at the trader. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go uh, wrench some cars and get some parts so we can buy that hot wire kit. And if nothing crazy happens between now and then, I'll just see you guys out at the mini bike.
right, we're back at our police car because I got some more of the special parts. Um, so let's see, we've got a vehicle starter and we got a fuel pump and we, we also had got two more headlights and we have a, a vehicle starter, which we already put in there. Okay. An alternator, which is better than the one that's in there. I, I don't know. Does that matter? Does it like improve the vehicle in some way if you use higher level parts? Because there's no, you know, there's no notes or anything to indicate that. I would have to think so, probably, because why else would there be extra levels, right? Um, these spark plugs are in better shape than the ones I had in there. So let's put those in there. So we still need a carburetor and a transmission and then two more wheels, and then we'll be able to do our cop car. So that's looking good. Um, so we still have the, uh, whoops, uh, so we still have the headlight. And so these are all the things that we need for the mini bike there. Getting close. All right, let's go um, sell a couple of these things to the trader because my wrench is almost broken. And hopefully that'll get us enough money to buy that hot wire kit. Now, I don't know if that's a consumable thing or we buy it and then just keep it with us all the time. I'm not sure. Might as well get this out of the way. Get some maybe mechanical parts or screws at least and some iron. Okay, let's first grab our bellows out of here so we don't forget that and all of our iron. And I had put a table saw blade in here, but... Yeah. Let's take that back out of there. We have a zombie banging somewhere. Question is, is it a zombie or zombies? I don't want them tearing up the trader. All right, hold on. The you know the trader obviously is not indestructible. So where is that banging going on? Is it on this other side? I don't see any zombies anywhere. Okay. Could have sworn I heard something banging on a fence somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. What are you doing in here? Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> this guy show up at the most inconvenient time, man. Yeah, there they are. Uh, I'm not going to kill the pig because then the horde's going to eat it. And I also don't want to pull them down that road because that's the way we're going. Let's actually... Yeah, let's lead them down this highway. That is just... That's a lot of zombies. I mean, I could kill them, but that's probably going to use half of our ammo. Of course, we get a lot of good XP. How much ammo do I have? I've got 200 rounds plus what's in the magazine. Should we kill him? I'm a little bit encumbered right now. another fucking pig. It's going to interfere with this. Okay. Let's go back this way. And the pig will mix it up with him too. We need to loot her. I don't know how long her body will stick around. Okay, while we have a moment of reprieve, let's get some of this on our toolbar just so we're not encumbered.
Okay, we got Jiggly coming there and Big Mama. Okay. That didn't go too bad. And we didn't I don't think we completely overdid it on the ammo. That pig was already pretty ma major damage there. Let's go back and see if the other zombies that we killed are still there if they've de despawned by now. Hopefully they stick around for a little while so we have a chance to loot them. But yeah, I think they're gone already. Okay, well that didn't go terrible. Um, you know, for our first actual horde fight. Up until now, I pretty much just ran away from them. So fuck those guys. <laughs> we got a little extra ammo out of the deal, so that doesn't suck. And a little bit of meat too. Um, all right, let's go back in here. Some of those, some of them must have spawned inside of here, like the pig, anyway. Um, let's go trade ammo, 7.62. That got us 14 more pieces. And how much do we need again for the hot wire thingy? Uh, 378 dollar Mickey Hala. Okay, let's go in here. Put away your weapon. Unless you're paying, you're leaving. Hey, my weapon just saved your compound from a zombie attack, so don't be a dick. Uh, I've got acids not that hard to come by in the mod, so I think I'm going to sell those. And I, and I already have nine or ten of them back at the base. Let's sell the electricals. Let's sell the mechanic. Uh, yeah, let's sell the mechanicals, the oil. He doesn't buy plastic. We can sell it. No, he doesn't want the screws either. The headlamps are fairly rare, so I don't think I want to sell that. And I guess that's oh. Yeah, I don't um we can sell this air filter. It use it, you know, for the landmine, but not something we need to worry about right now. Definitely want to keep bullets and casings and all that for now. Um so let's actually put those back down here. Yeah, uh, we can sell the pipes to him. We want to keep all this iron, of course. Um, we can sell on the springs. And I want to keep the hide, because I don't have a lot of that. So that gets us up to uh, 534. I'm just going to get rid of that stuff, because it's not... A sale is a sale, even if it is to a scumbag like you. I'll repair that and then get rid of that. Okay, that's enough to get the hotware kit. And also, I did find a water in a uh, uh, like a water cooler on on the way over here down down the road there, which is good. Okay, let's go ahead and buy one of these. Okay, so we need to go down this highway get to our mini bike. Let's do it. Okay. So let's go into here and grab the two wheels, the battery, the small engine, and the headlamp. And I'm going to put a couple other... Well, actually, we're going to end up picking this bicycle up anyway. Wheel, wheel small engine, headlamp, and battery. Hot wire. Look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, how much storage space does it have? Oh, look at that. Definitely worth it. Hands down, definitely worth it. Okay. Uh, and I got a decent amount of fuel here. Let's, um... Uh, refuel. 
Okay. Got quite a few modifier slots, too. Look at that space. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Let's get the bicycle down here just for emergencies. I'm just putting stuff in there right now that we don't immediately need. But look how much space that's freeing up in our inventory, you know? That's good. In fact, we can just load this whole thing up, but then we'll have, like, a fresh inventory. Listen to that horn. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty beefy horn. Oh my god, look how fast we're going. Holy shit. This was definitely worth getting. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. I, You know, I, if you've been watching all along, I was a little bit on the fence as to whether or not to bother with it, but with the storage space and the speed, it is kind of going through the gas pretty quick, though, but... Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, I wonder if it, uh, does it, does it tell us how fast it goes? Yeah, 15 meters per second. That police car goes 22 meters per second, so that thing's going to be even faster than this. I hope we can control it. I do remember, um, I think it was in Darkness Falls. The last time I played Darkness Falls, you know, um, Kane had some custom modded cars in there. Some of them were, you, you know, they were so powerful you couldn't control them. Like some of the muscle cars and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. All right, so it is time for us to keep doing um, some more purges. Does this place still only have... Yeah, it's only got the seven zombs left. I mean, we're still under-leveled for it, but we've already started it, so I wonder if we should try and just finish it to get it done. Um, thing is, is that the zombs in here are pretty strong. But we only have to kill seven more of them-ish. That door's locked. Look at that. Let's move that down there. We got a vitamin too. That made it worth coming in here. What's that? Oh, it's a Walkman. Nice. I, I got to check with Ramsey to make sure that music's not copyrighted though first. Um, because I mean, we want it. We want to do it for funsies, but we also um, get some rewards for it too. Okay, we can't go in there. Is this uh? Yeah, those are actually zombie hiding closets. Get some water out of here, or not? What's in the janitor's cart? Iron, which we're now going to be able to smelt. I wonder if the rest of the zombs are out in the, the yard there. Or maybe upstairs, I guess. We already went in here before. Did we check this? Yeah. What about in here? Nada. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Hmm. This is sus, man. Okay, 
let's move some of this stuff down to here so we don't get encumbered. That could be a zombo closet right there. And there's a switch there too. I'm fucking nervous, man. I'm kind of telling you right now. You just know something bad's going to happen any second here. Oh, there's the loot. All right, what's in here? Oh, that door's locked. Can we... poke a hole in there and just peek our head in? I don't see anybody in there. Um, okay. I what the hell's gonna happen when we push this switch? They're gonna come out of the ceiling. What are they gonna do? Really? So we're. We're just going to walk right in here and take this with no resistance. I don't believe it. They're going to come out of the ceiling. You watch. Nope. All right. Well, let's loot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, what I think I'm going to have to do here, I mean, I don't really want to give up that scope. It's helping us with those longer shots, but the maximum damage, or well, I shouldn't say maximum damage because that doesn't change the damage, but the maximum I think the best configuration is these two things. So, yeah, we're going to just go with this. I mean, having a scope on this weapon's kind of silly anyways. We yeah, we can, I still think we can get some decent long shots off with that. Oh, what a nice find, man. What a nice find. Okay. Let's pop and pop these open. Okay. Those all gave us the same exact stuff. All right, I have no lock picks, so we get to bang on this for 10,000 years. Okay, what do we get? A beaker. Nice. Okay. Um, This is the only weapon we have. We already have a drum magazine, so we don't need this. What are these? These are rogue gloves. Medium armor rating. They'll have 5% um, less mobility, but th almost four points more of armor. So I think we're going to swap those. Okay, good. And let's pick up these boxes, too, for storage. In fact, yeah, we can pick this up, too. Nice. Well, we got the loot, but uh, our work isn't done yet. Um... And something else just occurred to me, too. We're probably not going to be fighting any critters in here, but we might run into some greenies. So why don't we put this on here in place of this? But I might interchange those depending upon if we're fighting Zikaroos or, or critters. Okay. Um, let's do this. I don't think there's any more Zeeks in this building. They must have all come out the first time we were here, but there's got to be... Uh, there's got to be more... Why am I moving so fast? 
I don't know. There's got to be more in here. Yeah, okay, there we go. What the hell is that? Oh, that's like a welder guy. Armored as fuck, man. That's a zombie nerd. Zombie military. Really, dude? That's all you're gonna give me? Okay, we have we have three more Zeeks up and about on our compass. Oh. Yeah, if you can stay stuck behind there. Feral. Oh, bird. was just too damn easy <laughs> with them kittens caught behind a fence all right ladies and gentlemen we just cleared a tier three purge when we had no business doing so yay us i won't be doing this as you know i mean i won't be doing stuff above our level habitually at least not at this point but you know we had already started this as you guys m maybe know if you've been watching all along so I figured, what the hell, let's finish it. And, man, it was sure worth doing. Indeed it was. Okay, let's um, let's just bust through here so we can loot these guys. Very nice. I think that's the first normal Zombo dog I've seen in this playthrough. We've seen a lot of wolves. Oh, here. Let's, uh... Oh, here. Yeah, let's we'll just take this out. Okay. Is there anything else around here? There's some sand and stuff. Some trash. All right, yeah, we we de definitely got the the majority of them. Well, I don't know if we got the majority, and we got them probably about at least half of them. There's some ammo. Very nice. Oh, look at that! We have another forge, and I like the green toolbox. Let's pick that up. So we have some variety because variety is the spice of the apocalyptic life. In case you guys didn't know that. Nowhere to lie. Oh shit! What the hell's down here? I mean, I'm assuming all the Zeds are dead, right? Oh, that's what's down here. Ooh, look at that. Tier 3 Expertise Book Fragment Bundle and a Shotgun Choke. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm not going to open that until we get back to the base because it's just going to take up more slots and we... I have a feeling we might not be able to do anything with it right now anyway. We already came in here, right? Whew. Okay. Yes, that definitely went well. Does this collapse too? Nope, it doesn't. Ooh, tire. What is this? Another car wheel. All right. We'll put that in our, on our police car. Before you know it, we'll have a 22 meters per second police car. I hope the siren works on it. Because what's a police car without a siren, right? Gotta have a siren. Let's take a peek in here. Yeah, I know I'm massively encumbered at the moment. It's pretty good stuff. The mechanical parts in particular. Alright, very good. 
Uh, we need this for a dew collector. If we decide to make one, I'm not sure if we will or not, but maybe I'll uh, figure out that it has um, another use besides just making water. If it even does that in the mod, I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I suppose we can always make it and just see, and if it's not that big a deal, then we don't worry about it. Uh, okay, let's open this and let's do that. And again, we'll hold off on that until we get back to the base. So I want to put that in the cop car. How much ammo do we currently have left? So we have 77 rounds, but we have 90 rounds in the weapon because of the drum magazine. That's insane, 90 rounds. <laughs> I love it. Is not is that even more than vanilla? I thought vanilla only gave us like 80 rounds or something. Let's go do an ammo exchange with Briston for all the rest of this ammo that we got. Did I put any ammo in here? I think so. That doesn't count. Okay. So we can get nine more 7.62. All right, good. Does this still just repair with a duct tape? Yeah, it does. Okay. I wasn't sure if, you know, if you get up higher in level, if um, it starts requiring, you know, actual repair kits. Hey, jackass. Hey, and jackass. Like my shop, my rules. Okay. You follow or you fuck off. <laughs> We'll sell those to him, and uh, we can sell those. We actually need to start hanging on to lead because we're going to start making bu bullets in our our forge. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I want to sell to him. We do need black dye for storage, but I'm not really at the point yet where I want to start spending money on that. There's... No refunds. More important things. Deal's done. Now beat it, fucker. Let's just use our money to buy two more waters because we are thirsty. And that way we don't have to consume our vitamin right now. We eat these final two potatoes. And we are in good shape. Let's go put this uh, wheel in the police car. And then we're going to go back and get our forge going. But, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we are out of time in this episode. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the base, get the forge going. I'll probably go out and do some more mining to make some more gunpowder and get some lead. Uh, when we, You know, one thing that we haven't seen a lot of... I don't think is brass and I have sold a little bit of it so when that is no longer gonna happen we got to save all of our brass for um, uh, for bullet casings right okay so we need a carburetor a transmission and one more car wheel so we are very close uh, to you know to getting that active but this this little moped thingy, man, this is impressive. See, not, see, that's a starter, a V8, spark plugs, fuel pump. Yeah, so we already have all those stuff. So we'll we'll hang on to these for other vehicles, of course. Um, tell you what, though, since I'm gonna let you go here, let's go ahead and open this up just to see what's in there. Open. Range expertise and melee expertise. Okay. I think we need the... There's like a blueprint station or something like that. I think we need that in order to make that stuff. Also, let's put the, the hunter mod back on here. Because we're far, far more likely to run into critters out here than we are greenies. At least at this stage. I'm sure that's going to change later, but... Hopefully that's a little ways off yet. All right, guys, this was a great day. Man, we, we got a lot accomplished. 
and uh, we we fought our first horde, and we finished a tier three. Didn't could have sworn I already salvaged this. Why is it back? It shouldn't be back. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, um, maybe I, I must have salvaged a different. So anyway, I'm going to let you go here. And in the next episode, we're going to go out and keep doing more purges. And I'm looking forward to the whole. I hope you guys are too. Uh, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.